Good morning, my friends. Today is Thursday, March 3rd. It's a Thursday after Ash Wednesday. You can tell I, it, I'm recording this on Ash Wednesday after uh, celebrating Mass. It's day 45 of Be Formed. So we are in the halfway point of Be Formed as we have another 45 days until Easter Sunday. It begs the question, aren't there 40 days in Lent? Well, there are the Sundays, which are feast days. Um, technically, you don't have to fast on Sundays, but I encourage you to keep it going for the full 45 days, 46 days of Lent, um, and then you know celebrate on Easter Sunday. We're in our spiritual spring training, and uh, even as baseball still is on strike, we're gonna we're gonna head into our our basics. And what's our basic today? But it's playing small ball. You know, everybody, especially today, they talk about launch angle and you know wanting to hit the 500 foot home run to to get all the accolades and be on you know top 10 plays on Sports Center. But what we're going to talk about is is bunting, the sacrifice bunt. Um, it doesn't. It's not glamorous. It usually doesn't make the news. But those who follow baseball know that. Um, how important it is. And I love to watch games where somebody puts down, you know, a sacrifice bunt, which means they, they give up their at bat and they move the runners over. Uh, good teams will congratulate that, that player who put down the bunt because they know they sacrificed themselves for the team. And how important that is in the game of life as well, especially in the spiritual life. Um, you know, when, when we make small sacrifices, it doesn't make the news, uh, but, but God knows what's happening. We hear in the gospel today, Luke chapter 9, Jesus says, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. So are we willing to deny ourselves? Do we realize that this life is not about us? You know, if... I've been on teams where there was a lot of talent, but if everybody thought it was about them, we wouldn't be a good team and we didn't have good results. I've also been on teams where we didn't have as much natural talent, but everybody realized that it wasn't about them. They were willing to sacrifice. They're willing to lay down their own desires for the team. And that's what God desires for us, to pick up our cross daily, to realize this life is not about us, but it's about loving God and loving our neighbor. And what is love? It's willing the good of the other person. It's willing to sacrifice. It's willing to help people move around the bases of life, if you will. If, you, if we think about, you know, the bases being uh, this, this circle of life where we're home plate, getting back to home plate is getting to heaven. And uh, this journey is coming to know Christ, coming to know more about him, and then sharing our faith with others. That's what the journey is about. Jesus goes on to say, for whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, much like somebody doing a sacrifice bunt. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Are we willing to lay down our lives for Christ and for others? What profit is there to gain the whole world, yet lose and forfeit himself? The interesting thing is when we sacrifice in life, we find joy in it. Not all It's not, not always easy, but... Once we do it, we realize uh, that's what I was created to do. We find our true identity. If we go back to baseball, some of the greatest ball players uh, never make the Hall of Fame because they didn't hit 500 home runs or they didn't win 300 games as a pitcher. But in God's life, game, game of life, everybody who is a Hall of Famer in this life, everybody who sacrifices for others, um, everybody who, you know, you know, spiritually lays down that sacrifice bunt, picks up their cross for others. We make it to that heavenly hall of fame. There might not be any fanfare. You know, as Matthew Kelly says, a holy life is built one moment at a time. The small things that we do, the small sacrifices, maybe that nobody else sees, God sees it. And so think about that today as you go about your daily life. Are we? Am I doing something so other people notice? Am I trying to make, you know, the ESPN's top 10 plays? Or am I quietly, as St. John the Baptist said, I must decrease so that Jesus must increase. Let us pick up our cross today, lay down our lives, lay down that sacrifice bunt for others. 
we find out who we are and God sees everything. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for teaching us the way, as Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Help us to sacrifice our desires, our wants, so that others may have life, that others may come to know your Son, Jesus. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. May not make the top 10 ESPN plays, but know that God is noticing everything we do. We're playing for that audience of one. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share this video with at least one person today. And God bless you.